Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Get ready, we're up to something really interesting today. We're going to explore some different types of numbers. And to help us out, we have some slightly different looking creatures. Only thing is, they're not really from Earth. You ready? Here they are, Even Steven and Odd Todd. Yeah, you've probably already guessed. These guys are going to help you learn about even and odd numbers. First, let's take a look at Even Steven and see what you can notice. Let's look at his body. He has two heads, eight eyes, two noses, two mouths, 12 teeth, four ears, four arms, eight fingers, and six legs. Wow, that is a lot of body parts. You may also notice a lot in common with these numbers, and for a good reason. They're all even numbers. An even number can be split into two groups with the same number in each group. You'll know if the number is even if the two groups match. We'll explore this a little bit more in a little bit, uh, but first I think we should meet Odd Todd. He wants to have his turn. Now let's see what you notice about him. He has one head, five eyes, one nose, one mouth, nine teeth, three ears, three arms, 15 fingers, and five legs. Ooh, that's also a lot of body parts. But something is very different about Odd Todd when compared to even Steven. Ah, everything about Odd Todd is an odd number. An odd number is the opposite of an even number. An odd number can never be split into two groups with the same number of things in each group. There will always be a group with one more or one less than the other group. Let's let even Steven and Odd Todd take a break to get a snack while I help you explore what this means. Take a look at this. Even Steven and Odd Todd left some of their laundry. Now this pile has 15 socks. Uh-huh. Well, that could help us figure out whether it belongs to even Steven or to Odd Todd. So let's find out if this pile has an even number or an odd number of socks. We can figure out if a number is even or odd by splitting it into two groups. So let's take the first sock and put it over here. Second sock we're going to put over here and we keep going back and forth till we used up all the socks. Okay, let's see. This group over here has eight socks and this group only has seven. So it seems like you can't split 15 into two equal groups. So the number 15 must be odd. These socks must belong to Odd Todd. Cool. While we wait for Even Steven and Odd Todd to come back, let's see if there's anything else that can help us practice even and odd. Oh, look. I see some dog toys in the corner for my favorite pup. Okay, let's put the toys into two groups and see what we have. Now we can put the toys into rows to stay more organized. Great. Another way to check if a number is even or odd is to count by twos. So let's count by twos to find out how many toys there are. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Ooh, there are twelve dog toys. Now we were able to count by twos to find the total number of dog toys, so twelve is an even number. Great job. Ah. Here come even Steven and Odd Todd now. And it looks like they brought back a bag of candy that they're sharing. Even Steven only takes a piece of candy if there is an even number in the bag. And Odd Todd only takes a piece of candy if there's an odd number in the bag. Huh, what a surprise. Now let's help them figure out who gets the next piece of candy. Let's do the same thing we did with the dog toys and put them into two rows. That helped us stay organized, didn't it? So let's see. One candy goes here. The next one goes here. Uh-huh. All done. The candy has been all sorted into two groups and look. 
we don't even need to count the pieces to know if it's odd or even. Since we lined them all up, we can easily see that the same number of candies is in each group. So there are an even number of candies. But let's count them just to double check. We were right. There are 13 candies in each group. So the number in each group is the same, and that means we have an even number of candies. That makes 26 an even number. And one way we could prove 26 is an even number is to write an equation. 13 plus another 13 equals an even number of 26. Even Steven gets the next candy. Oh, wow. He wasted no time at all. That candy must be delicious. Now that leaves us with just 25 candies. <gasps> but look what happened to the groups. Now the lines are not the same length. One group has one more candy than the other. And this means that there are now an odd number of candies. 25 is an odd number. Odd Todd gets the next candy. Wow, they are just gobbling those candies up. Maybe we should leave them to it. And say thanks to you for helping us figure this all out. With Even Steven and Odd Todd's help, we learned about even and odd numbers. An even number can be split into two groups with the same number in each group. And an odd number cannot be split that way. One group will always have one more than the other. We learned that one way to tell if a number is even or odd is by splitting the number of objects up, lining them up, and seeing if the groups match or are equal. Well. I guess that's all. See you in the next video.